War profiteers like Eric Prince would never allow a good crisis to go to waste as Afghans desperately try to leave Afghanistan following the Taliban taking hold of the country. Prince actually sees a decent opportunity for profit making for you know, pretending as if he's gonna try to help people when in reality he's looking to fatten his pockets and make a little bit of a profit. So Eric Prince, the American defense contractor, said he's offering people seats on a chartered chartered plane out of Kabul for the low, low price of $6,500 per person. He is such a good guy, everybody. He's just looking out for the Afghans who are trying to get out of the country. Again, low, low price of $6,500. Now, Prince, whose Blackwater guards were convicted of killing civilians in 2014 while providing security for Americans during the Iraq War, said he was charging each passenger $6,500 to get them safely into the airport and on a plane. And it would cost extra to get people who have been trapped in their homes to the airport. But here's the problem with Eric Prince. He's he doesn't have a great track record, especially when it comes to protecting people, offering support to civilians on the ground. I mean, this is a man who has been the head of a private mercenary group that has caused untold damage in both Afghanistan and Iraq. He certainly didn't want to pull out of Afghanistan. In fact, back in 2019, during an interview with Mehdi Hassan, he was openly disagreeing with Donald Trump's decision to begin pulling troops out of Afghanistan. Let me remind you a little of that. Whether it's drawing down from Syria or drawing down from Afghanistan, the president's gonna make it happen. Do you support, uh, do you support that? Uh, I don't, here's the thing, if, we, if the United States leaves Afghanistan, withdraws any of the troop support or monetary support, you will have a, uh, a moment like Saigon in 1975 with helicopters having to lift people off the roof of the US Embassy. So it will be some, that bad. Some might say you're not really trying to end the war in Afghanistan, then you just wanna replace it with your own kind of war. Uh, no, I do wanna end the war by giving the Afghan forces the means to survive and to be much more offense. Again, if you provide mentors and you provide air support okay. and logistic support to those units, they can actually get out and get after okay. the enemy. But Eric Prince has never actually followed through on what he claims to want to accomplish. He, he says the objective is one thing, but when you see how he and his, essentially his employees are on the ground, whether it be Afghanistan or Iraq, their brutality towards civilians was so bad that some of them were convicted for that brutality. Um, now, this is a story that TYT has been covering for many, many years. Uh, and I'm gonna take you to a few older videos, both featuring uh, Cenk Uger. So the first one is Cenk reporting on the Blackwater crimes in Iraq. Uh, this is a video from 2012. Cenk gives you updates on some of what they engaged in. They have such an enormous disregard for the civilians that we were there to quote unquote liberate. And the whole idea is we're the big bad Americans, the laws don't apply to us, get out of our way. And then gee, I wonder why the Iraqis hated us. You're not convinced yet? Wait till you see the second video. Right in the beginning, one of these guys is gonna run over a civilian and then everybody's just gonna roll on by like nothing happened. And they just keep on rolling. Gee, I wonder why the Iraqis didn't like us. I can't quite figure it out. Maybe it was our enormous disregard for their lives. They killed so many innocent civilians in so many different areas with such little regard for civilian life that they became an embarrassment. So what was their answer to that? No, that's okay, we're just gonna change our name. They changed it from Blackwater to Z, and then that didn't work. So then they changed it to Academia, wow, that sounds so smart. And then they sold to another contractor, Triple Canopy. And now they have changed the name of the entire company to Constellus Holdings. You see, if you change the name four or five times, then the company becomes much better. And of course, the company did not become much better. In fact, when Blackwater, when Eric Prince's group was being investigated, they decided 
we're gonna go ahead and uh, threaten the lives of US officials who are doing the investigation. Watch. State Department puts Gene Richter on the case and says, hey, look, we got all these reports about Blackwater ripping us off, unsafe conditions, let alone what they're doing to the Iraqis. But we're worried about what they're doing to us, to our troops, to our reputation, to our relationship with Iraq and our money, right? So Gene Richter goes and starts to interview, for example, Dean Carroll, who's the project manager for Blackwater. He runs Blackwater in Iraq at that time in 2007. And here's what Daniel Carroll apparently told him. That he could kill me at that very moment and no one could or would do anything about it as we were in Iraq. Yeah, threatening US investigators as they were looking into the behavior of the very people on the ground who Eric Prince claims just wanna help out, just wanna offer security to US troops. In this case, with the latest story, just wanna help evacuate Afghans from Afghanistan. Again, for the low, low price of $6,500, extra fees, of course, if they need to get Afghans safely from their home to the airport. But he doesn't actually care about helping anyone other than himself. I mean, this is what war profiteers actually want. They just want to find ways to make money off of these conflicts, which is why you know he wasn't actually in favor of taking troops out of Afghanistan. He's not in favor of ending any kind of war because war is what his business revolves around. But it's not just about Eric Prince. It's about all the private defense contractors who have perpetuated endless wars. They're the ones who have convinced lawmakers to keep increasing the defense budget because that is the easiest way to redistribute wealth from US taxpayers to wealthy defense contractors, to people who are already billionaires who have made their wealth off of the deaths of civilians in these countries in the Middle East and who of course have no interest in ending any of this, right? They don't want it, which is why we're on to the next. I mean, look, the rhetoric that we're hearing in regard to China is something that we should be paying very close attention to. Number one, we need to collaborate with and work with countries like China in order to combat climate change. So diplomatic efforts should always take priority over you know, the Cold War rhetoric that we're hearing right now. But what we're doing in response to China is arming countries, that don't have such a great relationship with the country, with China. So we're doing record weapon sales in Japan, in India. And what does that do? I mean, we already know what increasing weapons in various countries has done in the past. It's only destabilized regions of the world. It's usually come back to haunt us. The very people that we end up arming turn around and become threats to US national security. But this is all very intentional. Weapons manufacturers make money, later defense contractors make money with government grants and government deals to fight these wars. It's all so incredibly disgusting. And to see someone like Eric Prince, who does not value human lives at all, claim that he wants to help Afghans evacuate. I mean, all you could really do is roll your eyes at that. These people are goons and they never put themselves on the front lines or risk their own lives in the name of any national security or freeing people of a country that needs democracy. They don't care about any of that. It's all about the money. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.